Can you believe it? 52 new models, open source ones, were released just last month. And these were not fine tunes or rehashes. This happened at a time when people were saying AI innovation was slowing down. But October 2025 proved otherwise. Across speech, vision, code, reasoning, and even full video generation, the open source community showed just how alive and fast moving this space still is. Let's go through it week by week from the last month and see what really stood out. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. So let's get started with these models. Now, most of these models I already have covered on the channel in hands-on fashion. So if you're looking to get them installed locally, just search the channel. So this is where you can see the month started with a strong focus on audio and multimodal models. We had LFM2 Audio 1.5 billion came in as a low latency audio foundation model. That was followed by Kani TTS, which is a super fast real time TTS engine. IBM launched Grey Knight 4, bringing hybrid models for enterprise efficiency, while Neo TTS Air offered instant on device voice cloning. By October 3rd, things were heating up. Agent S3 made human like computer use feel closer than ever, and Ming Univision unified vision understanding, generation, and editing under one roof. Then really came a creative wave, in my opinion. We had OV that let anyone generate offline talking avatars with synchronized video and audio. Salesforce Coda introduced a diffusion based coding model that understands both direction of context. Then we had a really, really good model, Gwen 3 VL 30 billion, that pushed vision language model for agentic tasks, while Descartes XR focused on real time video effects. And then the week rounded off, we had LFM to 8 billion and they were quite active this month. And Hanjuan Vision expanded on device reasoning and visual thinking, marking a shift towards more practical, locally deployable AI. The next batch of releases showed how diverse OpenAI has become. Paris introduced decentralized training for diffusion models and stream diffusion version 2 made real-time video streaming fully open source. We also had Jamba Reasoning 3 billion that delivered small-scale reasoning power for edge devices, while Ling 1 trillion and Ring 1 trillion pushed trillion parameters experiments at Ant Group. Mimax came in with multi-character video generation and user LLM 8 billion simulated human user, which is a new step in agent-based interaction. The story has just started. By mid-October, the focus turned to multimodality and agent coding. R&D One Base experimented with diffusion-style language models, whereas we had a really, really cat dev model that tested large-scale code agents. And that is, again, one of the real good stuff from last month. Dream Omni 2 handled multimodal image editing while streaming VLM tackled something infinite video streaming and that was also quite interesting. Now moving forward, this is where I was talking about some of the other stuff which mentioned around middle of the month because it was all about efficiency. We had mobile LLM Pro which showed that 1 billion parameter model can run directly on device with 128k context support, flash world stunned with 3D scene generation in seconds and then we had LADA 2 that scaled multimodal reasoning up to 100 billion parameters. There was also really really good deep seek OCR which compressed visual context for OCR, CREA real time, handled real time video generation and coin 3 billion 2 billion deliver open VLM for both edge and cloud. Next there were models that pushed perception and world understanding. For example, we had this badass open focused on collision prediction for autonomous system. And then, LF, you know, Liquid AI was active again with their LFM2 VL model for smaller devices. And Hanjuan World 
generated 3D world straight from video. Pokey Research specialized in deep information synthesis and then OLM OCR was real good find which automated PDF to text extraction. LTX2 also delivered an open 4K video engine that anyone could run locally. By late October, releases were spanning science, art and simulation. Light on OCR improved OCR VLM. Tahoo X1 brought AI into single cell biology, P1 tackled physics problems, and then we had long cat video that unlocked long form video generation. Seed 3D created detailed 3D assets from images and Minimax M2 introduced a modular intelligence engine for agentic workflows. In the final stretch of big releases, we saw massive multimodal and retrieval models. Ming Flash Omni, Lada Mini Preview, they all blended perception language and reasoning into one unified framework. LFM to a Liquid AI released an embedding model for RAG and YMAX tackled end to end video creation. And finally, in the last stretch, the month wrapped up with another burst of variety where we had. Frames to video bridge the gap between keyframe with smooth interpolation. Fibo showcased high quality open source performance trained entirely on licensed data. Oro 2.6 billion proved small models can still outperform ex expectation and that video will be out uh, very soon. And then we had Emu 3.5 which learned about the world. We also have a new version of Rock of 7 and we had UI Ains which is a model for grounding interfaces. And I'm more than sure I have definitely missed few. So if you know about any models which I haven't really covered, feel free to put it in the comments. I'll be happy to mention them. And please make sure to definitely post your thoughts on what you what do you think about this list? Because you can see that October 2025 was not a slow month. It was a month that was if you compare it to the previous ones, yes, maybe a little less uh, models, but this is, was a month that proved open source AI isn't slowing down. It's evolving from massive multimodal systems to compact on-device models. Every release pushed a different frontier. What's striking is how broad the field has become. We are no longer talking just about text or images, but full ecosystem of models that see, hear, think, and even act. And if this is what a quiet month looks like, then the next wave is going to be unbelievable. Also, I haven't even touched about the innovations and models and tooling which was released by OpenAI, Google, Anthropic and other big labs. That is a whole new um, slew of things which are really, really evolving. That's it. Let me know what you think. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Thank you for all of your support.